The long-awaited film The Conjuring 2 has come and gone from theaters, and from what I've heard, the film has received mostly positive reviews from critics and fans alike. Riding the coattails of its previous incarnate, The Conjuring, released in 2013, The Conjuring 2 continues the journey of Lorraine and Ed Warren, played by Patrick Wilson, and Vera Farmiga. This film takes Ed and Lorraine to North London, where they duke it out with a malicious entity tormenting the Hodgson family. Now, I could go on about this film and its interpretation of the infamous Enfield haunting, but let me instead take us behind the screen where the movie magic happens. Cast and crew have reported some rather strange happenings around the filming of both films The Conjuring and The Conjuring 2. During the filming of The Conjuring 2, Patrick Wilson shares his experience on set involving a very large curtain that seemed to move on its own. Patrick is quoted as saying, quote, It was a huge curtain that went from the floor to the ceiling which was just sort of waving violently, and there was no door open, or no fan, no nothing. One of the painters goes behind it and couldn't figure out where the movement was coming from. It went on for like a minute. That was a very, very odd occurrence, because nothing else was moving around it, and nothing else was blowing. You didn't even hear air, but you watched these curtains sort of violently going. It was pretty trippy." End quote. Vera had her own experiences during the filming of The Conjuring, stating, quote, I've had some freaky stuff happen. I've experienced some weird occurrences, especially since shooting this, like a teacup flying off the shelf. I oftentimes get little cuts in threes, like three little claw marks. The first time around, I had a really prominent bruise that was like three claw mark bruises. There were a lot of weird, inexplainable things. A Catholic priest, Father Steve Sanchez, from the Archdiocese of Santa Fe in Albuquerque, New Mexico, was sent in to bless the set due to the previous experiences during the filming of The Conjuring and Annabelle. Reviewing these experiences, I can't help but be intrigued by the idea of The Conjuring 2 set being haunted. Haunted or not, I believe filmgoers are in for a thrilling story backed by a solid cast. Due to the popularity of this film, I'm sure this will not be the last time we see Ed and Lorraine on the big screen. Until then, we'll just have to wait and see if the paranormal activity continues. So we want to hear what you thought about this story. Leave your comments in the comments section below, uh, start discussions, we can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to the iHorror YouTube channel. You can do that in the subscription button. Uh, you guys know how to do this by now. If you like this story, you can check out more articles at iHorror.com, where you can find the best articles on the newest horror entertainment.